Okay, in this video we want to prove a statement using the principle of mathematical induction. And so the statement that we want to prove is built off of this following observation. So 1 equals 1, so maybe that's not so interesting, and then 1 plus 3 equals 4, which equals 2 squared. Now, maybe we should go ahead and write this as 1 squared to get the ball rolling. And then 1 plus 3 plus 5 equals 9, which is 3 squared, and so on and so forth. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 equals 16, which equals 4 squared. So what it looks like is if we sum odd natural numbers, we get squares. So now off of this observation we want to prove a statement like this using the principle of mathematical induction. So if we uh, clean this statement up and generalize it we end up with the following. So the following proposition for so for all natural numbers n we have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot 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 plus 2n minus 1 equals n squared. Okay, good. So now notice if we plug n equals 1 into that, we get um, the sum from 1 to 2 minus 1, so that's just 1. If we plug n equals 2 into that, we get the sum 1 plus 3, which is 4, and so on and so forth. So this is the generalization of this nice observation that we saw over here. Okay, so let's look at the proof, and this is using the principle of mathematical induction. Okay, so we want to start with the base case. And so that base case will be n equals 1, and we can just say that observe that 1 equals 1 squared. And that's enough. Great, and now let's make an induction hypothesis. So let's suppose for some arbitrary k bigger than or equal to 1, we have 1 plus 3 ending at 2k minus 1 equals k squared. So that's our induction hypothesis. And the next thing we want to do is use this induction hypothesis to prove the induction step. So the induction step will be the case right after this induction hypothesis. So we're, we'll replace k with k plus 1 and use this equation. So now let's consider the following. 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus... 2k minus 1 plus the next odd number, which is 2k plus 1. Okay, good. And now we know that the first k terms here, by our induction hypothesis, equals k squared. So this equals k squared, that's by the induction hypothesis, plus 2k plus 1. That brings down the rest of it. Okay, good. So let's highlight this. So here we brought down these terms into this using the induction hypothesis, and then we just brought this back down here with no change at all. Okay, good. Now, uh, maybe another thing to notice is, and now it's not important to write this out, but it is maybe helpful to see that this is 2k plus 1 minus 1. So that is indeed the k plus first statement. Now that we have this k squared plus 2k plus 1, that should obviously be some binomial squared, so we can write this as k plus 1 squared, which ends the proof. Okay, good. So we have proven this statement using the uh, principle of mathematical induction. And so this is a fine proof for um, explaining it on a chalkboard with extra um, verbalization of the steps, but if you were to write this down, you would obviously want to replace all of this with complete sentences and um, clean it up. 
Good.